Hey you guys, and welcome back to part 8 of the Sims 3 Runaway Team Challenge. <clears throat> and, sorry, because my, my throat is sore and it feels like I'm swallowing through a straw. <coughs> and it's agitated. Um, fortunately, I don't have like that throaty cough thing yet. So far, I've kind of been avoiding talking today, but, um, I decided I would do this <laughs> now. I was just playing, uh, Red Dead Redemption, uh, the online free roam thing, and this one jerk just, like, he shot me and killed me, and then waited for me to just, like, respawn, and then he just shot me, continuously just kept shooting me without me having the opportunity to do anything about it so I got very angry and decided I would do this video instead um anyway <laughs> anyway so I did manage to get Betty into some maternity um clothes just a simple salmon shirt with these like skinny capri thing I don't even know there the pants, anyway, they are pants. Um, <laughs> and so far, right now, everybody is in a pretty good mood. Um, you're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. So, I would like to go ahead and try to get these guys under a relationship title. Oh my god, seriously, and now lagging. <laughs> No, I hate the lagging. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, it cooperates with me from now on because my frustration, oops, my frustration levels today with being sick and then having that jerk just keep on killing me. Actually, I have some other choice words. But I'm not going to say them on here because that would be unprofessional. Not that I'm professional at anything anyway, but um, you get what I'm saying. So we are going to send the animals out to work. Lex and Dexter. Give them something to do that they will enjoy. <clears throat> and not only that, I, I woke up, I woke up today, I was up until like... 10 30 this morning from last night I just I don't know my body I just I'm sick but my body doesn't want to sleep so I ended up falling asleep because my husband made me um and then I I finally woke up at like 6 30 um this evening about two hours ago so, and now I don't remember where I was going with that, you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't remember where, where I was going. Aww. Oh my goodness. My brain today is just all uh, out of whack. Though I feel like it is more often anymore than not. So, oh my goodness. We are going to... Where am I? There you are. Wow, right in front of me. We're gonna silence the phone. Because it's obnoxious. And we are gonna get this. I didn't realize that we had um some gem dust. I did not realize that. Apparently we did. <clears throat> oh, two 
see that two grand that is nice almost three all right and then after you guys become a couple I would sincerely like it for you miss Betty to tell your boyfriend that you are pregnant <laughs> um because that's kind of important be like so yeah good that you uh you asked me to go study because we're gonna have a baby together. Oh, dang it, that is what I wanted. Mm. He's like, oh, yay, good for you. Good, good for you, good job, good job getting pregnant. Takes two there, daddy -o. Can have some credit, not not all, but some. Um, and da -da -da -da. Dawn is now the father of a new baby boy. Marie just gave birth to a baby boy named Cullen. All right, so apparently Betty has a new baby brother named Cullen. Good for them. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Okay, so I am <clears throat> gonna have uh, trees away. I'm gonna have her come in here and use the restroom and then get ahead of things a little bit. Dang it, come on. Really? Really? No, not the light. Come on. There we go. Do that. And then I want him to clean up this yard for us right here first first we want him to get the mail because I want to see what we have Betty got a letter from Ron and it says, this came as a surprise, but a welcome one. Let's see where this goes. A plasma bug. Hmm. Uh-oh. Look at this, you guys. Ron got a letter from Deanne. It says, okay, keep an open mind for a sec while I paint you a picture. You, me, together. How does that make you feel? Oh, snap, Deanne. If you guys will remember, Deanne Frederick is Betty's older sister who is actually dating Ron before Betty stole him away. So now it looks like Deanne wants to make a play for Ron again. Oh my goodness. Crazy love triangle or something. Is that it though? There's letters, okay. Just had to make sure. And then, buddy, I'm gonna have you, since you're all mechanic y, I'm gonna have you fix that toilet for me so that she doesn't have to do it. Because she's pregnant, she doesn't need to be doing that sort of stuff. Oh, sweet! A fragment of a mini dinosaur skeleton. How cool is that, you guys? That's pretty freaking cool. Alright. 
So we're gonna take this and we're gonna give it to Betty. So she can do something about it. A pink diamond. Nice. Right, and Alrighty, so we are going to the other. Okay. And as for Lex, I thought it would be an extraordinarily cockroach. Cockroach doesn't pay off, it doesn't pay anything. Go up figure. Alright, lizard. Another, another one? You've gotta be kidding me. That's so freaking awesome. Uh, okay, so let's put a sneaky face in here. Bug. Look at how much these bugs are, you guys. This is fantastic. <clears throat> oh my lord. I'm gonna stop with the sore throat. And we are back from <laughs> Grand to Eleven Fet. I am pretty in excited about that. That's pretty great, to be perfectly honest. Oh, he's having some. Oh, he needed he needed a break apparently. Oh, here I would like to not have that tree in my way. There we go. Shift this a little bit around. Oh my goodness, my throat is driving me nuts. Got myself some honey tea. And that's, that's it. But I legitimately hate medicine, so I Rarely take it. And I guess that that's just what I'm going to have to deal with because of <coughs> my hatred of medicine. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to have you, mister, eat from your bowl. And after that, she can scratch some stuff up. Right here. You need to be eating. I want you to grab a plate. The same goes for him. He deserves some food. Is it just me or does it feel like the day for these guys just went by like that? I feel like it did. I feel like it went by really, really fast. Oh, she found another snake. No, 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 no. I don't think I've seen this one before. Yeah, I have not. I haven't seen that one before. That's pretty cool, though. Um, hold on a minute. Come back. Alright. Oh, I got throat. Driving me crazy. What's this? Who is this? Oh, it's just just random stray dog. Could become friends with this stray dog. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. No? Okay, fine. <laughs> Alright, big guy is tired. Dang it. Just gonna send him to sleep. Ron wants to go ahead and woohoo, or they, yeah, they want to woohoo, so I'm gonna let them. 
and they're already pregnant, so I don't think we need to do that. So it's not that big of a deal if they go ahead and do it again. It, what's what is gonna happen, right? Don't have to worry about pregnancy because she's already pregnant. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, she is. All right, I'm gonna have Lex eat something and then she can go to bed too. Look at her. I, I love her walk. She just like shoves that pelvis out there. She's all like, mm, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Making herself a little bit more aerodynamic, I guess. I don't know. You quit reacting to the dirty dishes. And they're not important. As you can say, I mean, her maternity stuff, it's not, like, the, the most stylish, but she's a teenager, and she's a runaway, so it doesn't really matter. It does not matter at this point. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna see if I cannot get Dexter to come out here and go pee. Sweet, yes. Can get him to come out here and go pee. And then sleep because you're pissing me off. Alright. Now I want you to clean up. Oh, a satisfying experience. Look at that. After a romp in the sack with a master of the arts, you walked away with a smile on your face. Is he master? I don't recall making him a master of sex. Oh, well, he's got a, he's, he's on level four for, alrighty. Well, good for him. Buddy, I'm still gonna have you sleep on the couch because you. Excuse me. Good, clean, fun. Enjoying a romp with that special someone who knows what you like and we're up. Ow. We're, we're, where to put it can be truly mind altering experience. And I keep forgetting to get sleep freedom that allows them to sleep together in the same freaking bed. Um, at the top. Actually, I am gonna have you clean it and then you can bathe in it. It's not that hard. Actually, an interesting, when I was pregnant with my son, like, nobody let me do anything at all. Like, they wouldn't even allow me to clean with like chemicals. You know, like 409 or anything. Anything that had a smell to it. They were like, nope, you are not cleaning. You are not gonna clean. And I was like, well, my house is dirty, so how am I supposed to clean it? They are like, we're gonna come over and we're gonna clean your house. I mean, didn't mind so much that part of it, <laughs> but that was the only thing that drove me crazy when I was pregnant was I didn't, I could, I wasn't allowed to do anything. Anyway, they sure make a lovely couple. Don Frederick and Marie Frederick continue to be inspirational. Uh, it appears holding hands on the boardwalk the other day. Oh, inspirational it appears. Oh my God. Holy hands, okay. They are a very sweet, loving couple. That's, it's so great. It really is. My, my mother-in-law and I had a conversation um, last night about um, my relationship with my husband because my mom 
while my husband was gone to basic, my mom tried to sabotage my marriage, which, I mean, that was, a, it's like a really long story, but um, my mother-in-law and I were talking about that and about um, her relationship with my father-in-law. And uh, my husband's grandparents' story of how they got married is quite ingenious, actually. Um, they, on my mother-in-law's side, they are Mexican. And on my father-in-law's side, they are Spanish. And there is a difference. <laughs> the Spaniards are from Spain and they came here um, way back in the day before Columbus I think and all that other fun stuff anyway I'm not gonna get into that but um, my my mother-in-law's parents my mother's mother was dating my mother's father for a while but then she broke it off with him my mother's mother my mother-in-law's mother and father um, Anyway, they were living, I can't remember if they were living in, in Mexico or New Mexico. Anyway, somewhere south. And uh, they, they were, um, anyway, he was still madly in love with her. And she didn't want to give him, like, the time of the day. So she, you know, tried to avoid, tried to avoid him and everything. And one day she was taking she was taking something to a family member and she was walking and he pulled over in his truck and tried to get her to come and get in the car with him and she wouldn't do it and uh after a while i don't know what that means at all after a while she finally consented and got in the vehicle well he did not take her to her family to, to the family member's house. Instead, what he did was he drove out to like the middle of nowhere. And basically, he took her captive. He 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 didn't let her leave or anything. And then the next day, he took her home. Nothing happened between the two of them. They, I mean, literally nothing happened. She slept in the cab. He slept in the back of the truck. And, um, uh, nothing happened. But when she went home, her mother absolutely refused to believe that nothing had happened and forced them to get married. Well, forced her to get married. He knew exactly what would happen, and that was why he took her. He, he knew. I mean, how ingenious is that? I mean, it's it's really kind of strange. And you think about it, you're like, okay, so we kidnapped her, and then she gets to come home, and then she's forced to marry the guy. That's kind of messed up. I know, but at the same time, it's still also kind of sweet. And uh, they have been... She still had feelings for him. Um... Alright. Anyway, sorry guys, I thought I had a hair in my mouth. But, um, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and they are, they're, they're very happily married. My mother-in-law, I think, came from a family of, like, like 12 kids? And my father-in-law came from a family of, like, 13 or 14 children. So, I mean, they they got along well enough to have that many children together. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a sweet, sweet uh, little, little love to the bit. Story.
hold on one second you guys I want to go ahead and try and grab some tea Oops. okay I'm back alrighty so what is going on dang it no and no sorry guys no school for you two what seriously they are gonna go ahead and woohoo again so I'm gonna go ahead and let that happen mm. I mean why not again Fortune and Lex didn't catch anything. No school bus. And then I'm gonna have her eat afterwards. And then tend to her garden, because she needs to. It needs to be tended to really bad. <laughs> Okay, now that's over. Missy, you need to. Dang it! You need to eat something. I'm gonna send him to go get the mail. Oops. I'm gonna pay the bills. And use the restroom and yeah why not take a bath why does he keep finding it it's so interesting oh these things yay I hate these things so much <laughs> They're not worth anything. This rot oh, another letter from Deanne. I've been too shy to say it in person, but I really do. I really care about you a lot. Do you feel something for me? Deanne. He's going to have a baby with your sister. Stop it. <laughs> It's bad. It's bad that you're trying to win back your sister's boyfriend. Especially since now he's gonna be a father to her child. Even though you don't know that yet. And then you're going to tend the garden. Alright. Interesting. So what is, what is this? <coughs> My ears kind of feel plugged up too. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Alright, so we are I'm pretty excited to find out if this baby is going to be a boy or a girl. I would really kind of like it to be a boy first. I don't know. People say boys are easier than girls. I don't know because I've never had a girl myself. But my and my uh, my niece. I guess it kind of just it really depends on their personality. Like my niece Maya, she's eleven. And, uh, um, she's, I swear she's more adult than the adults in the, in her, in her home. And then you have her, and she, I mean, she's calm, she's mild, she's creative, she's way more mature than she should be. And, um, then you have her little sister, who's, let's see, she's 
God, she's eight months older than my son. Um, and my son is going to be two next month. So, I mean, she's, she is wild and crazy and loud and just, and just destructive. And <laughs> I mean, but that's really, honestly, that's how little kids are. I mean, that's just what, what happens, you know? Um, and, uh, then I have, I have, um, my other nieces, um, one is a total, total diva, and I love it, she's just, she's very, she's very outspoken, and she's like, this is how it's gonna be, and this is how I like it, and blah, 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 and she, she's, and she's very much a girl's girl, like, she just, she she's stylish and she just she is adorable she just and she's so funny she's got just this little diva attitude and I love it um and then there's my other niece and she is a tomboy I mean she ripped the heads off her Barbie dolls one Christmas and stole her brother's Nerf guns so that she could so that she could play with them. I mean, that's it's totally, totally opposite. They're, they are like night and day. What am I doing? That's not what I want to do. You know, so it's it is pretty great though. I like I like it. I love them. So I just, I don't know, but I would like there to be a boy first for these guys. I only have a boy myself, so I know how to deal with little boys better, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Alex is now an expert of slithery creatures. As reward, Lex Frederick will always successfully catch snakes, lizards, and turtles. Mm, I did honestly. I didn't know that that was even possible. I did not know that at all. After she does all of this craziness, she can use the litter box and scratch up her post, take a little cat nap. How's this guy doing? He gets exhausted really fast. I've discovered like he he just gets like tired of hunting. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna play. I'm not gonna contribute anymore. I did my I did my part. I found a couple things. Now I'm done. Um, how's one run? I should probably have something to eat too. Quick. I'm sorry, you guys. And then I would like him also to take a nap. And as for you, Dexter, you eat from the bowl. And then you have a little nap. That way I can actually just like speed it through um, Betty's tree process. She has not gotten very far. Oh my goodness. Lex caught a termite. Yay, a termite! Okay, 
She's going to be a sore and, and incredibly cranky and stinky, but you know what? This needs to be done. Her garden has needed tending to for a while now, so. Aw, and Daxter, that was sweet. What a good boy. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pause for you, and then I'm gonna be um, back right after she gets done um, harvesting and tending to her garden because I doubt you really wanna wait here with me for all of it so oh man the baby is coming ron you should be awake for this really you didn't eat either you're such a pain in the ass why are you no come out here and be here with your lady friend your girlfriend while she's having a baby for you no 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 um no hospital. You better not go to the hospital. I will kick both your butts. Come on. He's freaking out. He's like, oh my god, I don't know what, what to do. He's like, I don't know what to do. It's so hard. Oh, man. Really? <laughs> nope. Nope. Sorry, sweetheart. No hospital. You got this. You've got this, sweetie. You've got it. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Come on. Yay! We have a new baby boy. Yay! You know what we're gonna name him? We are gonna name him after his freaked out little daddy. We're gonna name him Ron Jr. Yeah, you guys, we got a baby. Vivian has, oh. Aw, look at our little pride and joy. Look at our little bundle. Aw. Look at how cute you guys. Little baby Ron Jr. <laughs> All right, so how is he doing anyway? Okay, he's tired. That is perfectly fair. Being born is tough work. Oops, I forgot. There we go. So we are going to put Ron in his crib.
No, we got a boy. We got a boy. I don't know. I'm excited. You guys should be excited too. I am so thrilled. Okay, so go ahead and use that. And then I want you to eat some salad. I guess why not? His dog, he's just like, he's like, I need some attention. I need you to go outside and go potty because you seem like you're going to burst. And then it is night night time for you as well. What are you doing? Really? The cat, the cat was playing in the bathtub, you guys. Okay, we're gonna have you use that and then you go to sleep. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Here we go. Oh, look at her. She's back to her regular clothes. Yay! I'm so thrilled. <laughs> Poor Ron, he's like, I am so hungry and tired. I have to be. But he just needs to, she needs to eat some food and then she can go to bed. We have a baby boy. It's totally great. I am soaked. Stoked about it. No, will you quit trying to woo woo? I want you to clean up. <laughs> clean up your mess. There you go. Clean it up. Then I want you to go to the bathroom. And then I want you to go to sleep. You missy, you need to eat. Go on. Go on. Go on. Ugh. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. And then we will pick up again at part nine. All right, um, go ahead and leave your comments and criticisms and just randomness, even if you feel like it. Be like, my... Farts taste like snozberries. I don't even know. But I would love to hear from you guys. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And then and like our video if you enjoyed this part. I will see you guys again with part nine. <laughs> Bye.